students, I am Martin Raj, working as lecturer in zoology in Indira Gandhi Government High Secondary School. We are meeting after a long time due to the pandemic. Uh, since we are staying at home, these online classes is an initiative of our education department and our, and our director of education has taken uh, strenuous efforts to see to it that the students don't go without any lessons for them during this period. So today let us, uh, I am going to talk about a topic namely microbes in human, human welfare. So you know the microbes, microbes means microscopic organisms which cannot be seen through our naked eyes. So uh, that is what uh, we are countering uh, daily in our day to day life, the corona. So let us leave corona for some time and concentrate on the, uh, means, uh, the beneficial microbes which are helpful in our day to day life. Students, we shall see about the microbes in human welfare. So today we are going, to, actually there are five subtopics in human welfare, namely microbes in household products, microbes in industrial products, microbes in sewage treatment and energy generation, microbes in the production of biogas and bioremediation. Today we shall see about two subtopics, namely microbes in household products and microbes in industrial products. So we shall go to the first topic namely microbes in household products. So what are the microbes which are helping us in our day to day life, in our house, in our mother's kitchen. So you can see curd, ice cream and cheese. Cheese So these are all the byproducts of milk. Now, if you add a small amount of uh, curd uh, to the milk in a, uh, in a vessel, uh, the next day after 8 hours or 14 hours, the milk is converted into curd. How this happens? Because of a beneficial bacteria, namely lactobacilli. Likewise, cheese also is converted into a hard substance from the milk. So these are all the byproducts of milk. So first we shall see about curd. How curd is formed from milk with the help of the beneficial bacteria. The species is lactobacillus species. So bacteria like lactobacillus acidophilus, lactobacillus lactis, and Streptococcus lactis, commonly called lactic acid bacteria, also called LAB, lab. So lactic acid bacteria, three bacteria namely Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus lactis and Streptococcus lactis. So they are called lactic acid bacteria or lab. So they are probiotics. Probiotics means which are beneficial to human beings, which check the growth of pathogenic microbes in the stomach and other parts of the digestive tract. So pathogenic microbes means the harmful bacteria which, which are present in our stomach namely E. coli. So the uh, structure coli that is a pathogenic bacteria. If this uh, beneficial bacteria LAB enters through the curd which we are taking so it uh, destroys this uh, E. coli bacteria which is present in our stomach. The lactic acid bacteria it grows in milk and convert it into curd thereby digesting the milk protein casein. So below an equation is given how milk is converted into curd. See that equation. So milk in the presence of lactic acid bacteria and the lactobacilli. The temperature should be more or less uh, around 40 degrees Celsius or less than 40 degrees Celsius. So the milk is converted into curd. So after uh, the milk is converted into curd, the next morning we can store in the fridge. So curd is more nutritious than milk as it contains a number of organic acids and vitamins. So vitamin B12 is uh, present in curd. Actually, 
the nutritious level of curd. For milk, uh, if in one cup of milk, you have got uh, 42 calories of nutrition. But uh, whereas in one cup of uh, curd, you have got 98 calories of nutrition. So which is more nutritious? So curd is more nutritious. Then we shall see another form of curd called yogurt. So which is milk is converted into yogurt by the bacterial fermentation of a bacteria called Streptococcus thermophilus. So which is uh, which you can see in the picture Streptococcus thermophilus. So yogurt is produced by bacterial fermentation. Nodital mulemaga. Milk on the nodital mulemaga. Yogurt amara. So yogurt is produced by bacterial fermentation of milk and lactic acid is produced as a byproduct. So you know lactose is present in milk. So that lactose is converted into lactic, lactic acid. So microorganisms such as Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus, they coagulate the milk protein casein and convert the lactose in the milk to lactic acid. So microorganisms like Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus, they coagulate. So the milk protein casein on the coagulate panni, they convert lactose in the milk to lactic acid. The flavor in yogurt is due to the presence of acetaldehyde. So next we shall see another form of a milk product, namely cheese. So which is uh, converted by the beneficial bacteria namely Lactococcus or Lactobacillus or Streptococcus. So cheese is formed by the coagulation of the milk protein casein from milk. So milk is usually acidified and the enzyme rennet is added to, co to cause coagulation. So here to get cheese you must add the enzyme rennet so, so that after coagulation the solids can be separated and pressed to form cheese. Cheese now we are going to tell you So most, most cheese are made with the starter bacteria namely Lactococcus, Lactobacillus or Streptococcus. So next another form of uh, milk product namely paneer. So in English it is called as cottage cheese. So paneer vandha namma dhanadoro namba chapati parotagla namba paneer thoduda namma saapuro as a side dish. So it is made by curdling milk with lemon juice, vinegar and other edible acids. So on the cottage cheese namba daily use pata the paneer vandha it is made by curdling milk with lemon juice. Then vinegar. So vinegar na ulu theriyo na nikira kadi and other edible acids. Large holes in Swiss cheese. See, you can see Swiss cheese by the side of cottage cheese. So large holes in Swiss cheese, it is due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide by the bacterium Propionibacterium charmani. So the bacterium Propionibacterium charmani is responsible for the large holes in Swiss cheese. So that is produced, large holes is produced due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide. So on the large amount of carbon dioxide produced, is it produced out of the nerve? The bacterium propionium bacterium charmani is responsible for that. Next we shall see about the duff which we use in our daily uh, morning breakfast uh, namely idli dosa and in Tiffan we can take bread or we will be taking bread so what are the uh, beneficial bacteria which helps us to convert the duff into idli and dosa the next day uh, or the bread also. So the bacteria leuconostop mesentroid so which is visible in the picture now. So that bacteria is responsible for the conversion of the duff into idli dosa the next morning. And the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae, that is 
present on the right hand side saccharomyces cerevisiae so also called uh, baker's yeast or brewer's yeast so that is responsible for the uh, softness and porous holes present in the bread the dough used in the preparation of idlis and dosas they are fermented by the bacteria leuconostoc mesenteroids so all picture la irukke leuconostoc mesenteroids so the dough used in the preparation of idli and dosa nam therndoru saapidra idli and dosa they are fermented so and the nodithal moolamaga by the bacteria leuconostoc mesenteroids whereas the dough used in bread making roti seiyadhukku or cake seiyadhukku payanpadra dough on the bread adu vandu it is fermented by saccharomyces cerevisiae that is an yeast so for idli and dosa bacteria leuconostoc mesenteroids is helpful for uh, bread making you need a yeast called saccharomyces cerevisiae so also called baker's yeast or brewer's yeast fermentation of glucose mainly forms ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide which is responsible for leavening of dough so fermentation of glucose so glucose fermentation aachana we get ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide so that is responsible for leavening of dough the busbusun varadhu kaaraname idhu dhaan in the ethyl alcohol or carbon dioxide na fermentation moolaiyaga namakku nalla idhuva kadikudhu busbusun kadikudhu for example namba booli sudra pala vandu nalla nalla kadikudhu leavening when leaven dough is baked both carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol evaporate making the bread porous and soft so in the dough bake panadukapra roti sutadukapra carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol both evaporate so adanalu da actually the carbon dioxide in the space la nariya ungalku nariya pores irukku adanalu da adu appadi porous a irukku and the bread is very soft next we are going to see about the second sub topic namely microbes in industrial products so we have just now seen about the role the useful or beneficial bacteria and the yeast which are helpful for our mother in the kitchen day in and day day out so next we shall see about the microbes in industrial products so means industrial products means uh, uh, the microbes which is getting out from our house namely uh, bathing pandra waste water then toilet waste water then uh, kitchen waste water and the industry is looking at factories there are many by products there are industrial waste so that is why the microbes in the kitchen there are microbes is not sufficient so we need to produce, produce microbes on a large scale so adha vandu namba eppadi en paakaporam eppadi vandu industries ku namba microbes ku vandu large scale la produce pandrathukku paakaporam so microbes are used to synthesize a number of products valuable to human beings so namakku theviyana nariya products vandu adu produce pandrathukku namakku useful ah irukku so products like beverages antibiotics organic acids amino acids vitamins biofuels single cell protein enzymes steroids vaccines pharmaceutical drugs they are all produced in industries so beverages namba payanpadutra beverages antibiotics appa doctors prescribe pandraangala antibiotics இப்போ நம்ம வைரல் ஃபீவர் போனோம் அவங்க பேரசிட்டமால் கூட ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸும் ப்ரிஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுறாங்க அந்த ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் ஆர்கானிக் ஆசிட்ஸ் அமினோ ஆசிட் விட்டமின்ஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் விட்டமின்ஸ் வி ஆர் டேக்கிங் இன் அவர் ஃபுட் டெய்லி ஃப்ரூ வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் தென் பயோஃபியூவல்ஸ் தென் சிங்கிள் செல் ப்ரோட்டின் என்சைம்ஸ் ஸ்டீராய்ட்ஸ் டேப்லெட்ஸ் வேக்சின்ஸ் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ஃபார்மசூட்டிக்கல் ட்ரக்ஸ் எல்லாமே தி ஆர் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் இன் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஸோ வி நீட் சம்திங் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் டு ப்ரொடியூஸ் அண்ட் லார்ஜ் ஸ்கேல் so this is the instrument which you are seeing in the picture called as bioreactor or fermenter so in the machine la da namba large scale la produce pannalam microbes so production on a large scale it requires 
growing microbes and very large vessels called fermenters or bioreactors. So a fermenter or a bioreactor is a closed vessel with adequate arrangement for aeration. So aeration is space, air will be able to go then agitation, top like agitating system, then temperature number maintain mandatuke, then pH control and drain or bore flow vent to remove the waste biomass of cultured microorganisms along with their products. So waste biomass could have byproducts away, Adya number remove panla through this instrument bioreactor. So next we shall see about the antibiotic production. So antibiotic production now look at the antibiotics number. Uh, for example, now what I'm saying, Dr. Taboro is prescribing uh, uh, what uh, tablets maybe for three days or five days. If on the paracetamol, we have the antibiotic and the antibiotic and the and the dosage and the mucha that we have the serious problem. While few or some other disease, so that only a few produce one ranga antibiotics. Sir. So antibiotics are chemical substances produced by microorganisms which can kill or retard the growth of other disease causing microbes even in low concentration. So antibiotics are they are chemical substances produced by microorganisms. Microbes it can kill that another antigen. So number one we will enter on the antigen that is how it gets that is the antibiotics power in it. Antibiotics means against life. So in Greek, antibiotic means against life. Antibiotics are used to treat diseases such as plague. For that, we can create our plague, then meningitis, that is brain fever, diphtheria, syphilis, leprosy, and shiver process. So we can cure it through antibiotics. Selman Waxman discovered streptomycin and was the first to use the term antibiotic in 1943. So Selman Waxman was the streptomycin, antibiotic and was the first to use the term antibiotic in 1943. So next we shall see about the important invention of the great scientist Alexander Fleming. So penicillin, mother mother la orda kanda purichar antibiotic injection mule ma abadte karde. So while work, work, working on Staphylococcus bacteria, Alexander Fleming observed a green mold growing in one of his unwatched culture plates around which Staphylococcus could not grow. So our one this Staphylococcus bacteria apati arachi pani nagarpa. Upon the other one, green mold on the staphylococcus bacteria observe in one of his unwashed culture plates. Alsuti, the staphylococcus ala, valara mudila. So that is a bacteria, staphylococcus is a bacteria, other one, the culture puny, valakara, valakara over a green mold, other the unwashed culture plates. Other suti on the staphylococcus ala, valara mudila. Put on the other car on our Yosikra. He found that it was due to a chemical produced by the mold. And the mold is a chemical produced. That's why the staphylococcus was not able to grow. And he named that mold as penicillin. So, that's the penicillin. Which was the first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1926. So, first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1926. So penicillin is produced by the fungi Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. So the Penicillium produced from the fungi Pungi, you are the Pungi girl. Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. So it is bactericidal in action and inhibits the synthesis of the bacterial cell wall. So bacterial cell means antibiotics which kill the bacteria. Bactericidal, na, the antibiotic which kills the bacteria is called bactericidal. So penicillin is also referred to as the queen of drugs. So penicillin is also called as the queen of drugs and its full potential as an effective antibiotic was established much later by Ernest Chain and Howard Florey 
when they treated the wounded soldiers in World War II with penicillin. So, penicillin was effectiveness in the Second World War. So, they, uh, the wounded soldiers were treated by the contemporaries of uh, Alexander Fleming, namely Ernest Chain and Howard Florey. So, that was a nice plan. Nariya adi patta wounded soldiers kela recover aur recover aur thikya and the pension rombo udavi aadich. So Fleming, Chain and Florey, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1945 for the discovery of penicillin. So moon pair kumi combined a sendh Nobel Prize 1945 le in the discovery penicillin the discovery cause no karachil. So next we shall see about the important discovery by the great scientist Alexander Fleming, namely penicillin. So while working on staphylococci bacteria, Alexander Fleming observed a green mold growing in one of his unwashed culture plates around which staphylococci could not grow. So Alexander Fleming won this staphylococci bacteria already uh, what inventions on the continue body in the pair or a green mold pattern one of his unwashed culture plates la adu sutti vandu inda staphylococci bacteria avala valara mudiyala enna da adu eppadi valaram irukke staphylococci culture la dhaan valar vekkala eppadi valarla nu avaru yosichittu irukkappa da he found that it was due to a chemical produced by the mold and the green mold vandu or chemical produce panadhu and he named it penicillin so the green mold pair vandu penicillin pair vekkara which was the first antibiotic discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1926. So, 1926, 1926, Dr. Alexander Fleming in the first antibiotic penicillin. So, penicillin is produced by the fungi Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. So, in the two fungi, Poonjaigal, it is the penicillin produced. Namely, Penicillium notatum and penicillium chrysogena. It is bactericidal in action and inhibits the synthesis of the bacterial cell wall. So bacterial cidal means the antibiotic which kills the bacteria is called the bactericidal. So in the antibiotic one in the penicillin one the bacteria are sour. So penicillin is also referred to as the queen of drugs and its full potential as an effective antibiotic. It was established much later by Ernest Chain and Howard Florey when they treated the wounded soldiers in World War II with penicillin. So, penicillin was the first time in the Second World War. In 1926, Alexander Fleming was the first time in the Second World War. That was the first time in the Second World War. So, in the Second World War, Ernest Chain and Howard Florey were the first time in the Contemporaries of uh, Dr. Alexander Fleming, the wounded soldiers, the penicillin injection, the tablets, the treatment of the soldiers improve their health. So, Fleming, Chain, and Florey they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1945 for the discovery of penicillin. Three of them were They were honored by the Nobel Prize in 1945 for the discovery of penicillin. Next, we shall see about another antibiotic, namely tetracycline. So, which you can see in the picture, the in the they are stored in the what in the plastic bottle. Tetracycline is a broad spectrum bacteriostatic antibiotic that inhibits microbial protein synthesis. Bacteriostatic antibiotic. Now, antibiotic which reduces the function of the bacterium. That is called bacteriostatic antibiotic. Chlor-tetracycline, it is the first antibiotic of this group. In the group, like tetracycline group, the chlor-tetracycline is the first antibiotic. Isolated from the cultures of Streptomyces oreophaciens. So, the name of this bacteria is Streptomyces oreophaciens in the chlorotetracycline. 
another antibiotic namely streptomycin namba adikadi namba use pandradhu adha pathi namba pera kelvi pattirupinga which is uh, available in the what market uh, what medical store as injection streptomycin injection so it is a streptomycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic isolated from the actinomycetes streptomyces griseus so actinomycetes adarude per vande streptomyces griseus so the streptomycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic isolated from the actinomycetes streptomyces griseus so the bacterial per it is bactericidal against both gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria especially against mycobacterium tuberculosis so mycobacterium tuberculosis so ungalku theriyum and peru neenga kelvi pattirupinga adu vandu it is a bacteria which produces tuberculosis tb in human beings so antibiotics such as erythromycin chloromycetin riciofulvin neomycin kenamycin bacitracin they are all etc they are all isolated as microbial products next antibiotic resistance pa namba enna na pudakkathula irukra antibiotic enna nu paathirukom so antibiotic modha modha kandupidichathu yaaru enna na antibiotics irukudhu medical field la so next antibiotic resistance so resistant to the antibiotic ஆக்சுவலா வந்து ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் நம்ம எடுத்துக்கிறதுக்கு காரணமே வந்து நம்ம உடம்புக்குள்ள நுழையிற அந்த ஆன்டிஜன் ஃபாரின் பார்ட்டிகல் நமக்கு வந்து நோயை உண்டு பண்ணுது ஸோ அந்த நோயை வந்து நம்ம கட்டுப்படுத்துறதுக்கு ஒரு சொன்னா நம்ம டாக்டர் கிட்ட போய் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் வாங்கி சாப்பிடுறோம் இப்ப இந்த ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வந்து அந்த பேக்டீரியாக்கு உருவாகுது எப்படி உருவாகுது ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் அக்கர்ஸ் when bacteria develops the ability to defeat the drug designed to kill or inhibit its growth so antibiotic resistance eppa nadakkudana when the bacteria which enters our body adu vandu it develop the ability to defeat the drug drug na namba antibiotics saapradom and the antibiotic ne idu vandu defeat panudhu defined to kill that bacteria or inhibit its growth adanude valarchi kattupaduthukosana namba antibiotics saapradom அதே வந்து இது வந்து சாவடிச்சிருது ஸோ அதனால வந்து வீரியம் அதிகமாகுது டிசீஸ் வந்து நமக்கு வந்து ப்ரொலாங் ஆகினே இருக்குது ஸோ ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுலேட்டட் பை த மிஸ் யூஸ் அண்ட் ஓவர் யூஸ் ஆஃப் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் தான் முக்கிய காரணம் ஸோ ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் எப்ப நமக்கு வருதுன்னா இந்த ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் மீன்ஸ் இந்த பாக்டீரியா வருதுன்னா பை த மிஸ் யூஸ் அண்ட் ஓவர் யூஸ் ஆஃப் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக் ஸோ விட் நாட் மிஸ் யூஸ் அண்ட் ஓவர் யூஸ் அதுக்குதான் வந்து நம்ம டாக்டர்கிட்ட போகணும் இப்போ ஒரு நோயினா நம்ம டாக்டர்கிட்ட போகணும் அவர் வந்து நமக்கு வந்து மெடிசன் என்னென்ன மெடிசன் கூட ஆன்டிபயட் கொடுக்குறாரு ஒரு டோசேஜ் கொடுக்குறாரு த்ரீ டேஸ் ஆர் ஃபைவ் டேஸ் அந்த டோசேஜ் நம்ம கம்ப்ளீட் பண்ணாதான் ஃபுல்லா வந்து அந்த மைக்ரோ ஆர் பாக்டீரியா டெஸ்ட்ராய் ஆகுது ஸோ அந்த டோசேஜ் முடிக்கிறதுக்கு முன்னாடி நம்ம வந்து அந்த ஆன்டிபயோட் நமக்கு சரியா போச்சு வீடு சரியா போச்சு அந்த டோசேஜ் நம்ம நிறுத்திடக்கூடாது அப்புறம் ஓவர் யூஸ் அதிகமா டாக்டர் கேட்காம இப்ப டாக்டர்கிட்ட போனா நம்ம வந்து டாக்டர் ஃபீஸ் கொடுக்கணுமே அது ஒரு செலவு தானே நேரம் மெடிக்கல் ஷாப்புக்கு போய் அவர்கிட்ட வந்து எங்களுக்கு ஃபீவர் இருக்குது டேப்லெட் கொடுக்குனா அவங்க கொடுப்பாங்க அவங்க ஒன்றும் சொல்ல மாட்டாங்க நீங்க சாப்பிட்றது தான் டோசேஜ் எல்லாம் கிடையாது ஸோ அதனால் திஸ் இஸ் மிஸ் யூஸ் அண்ட் ஓவர் யூஸ் ஸோ ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் சுட் பி யூஸ்ட் ஒன்லி வென் ப்ரிஸ்கிரைப்ட் பை அ சர்டிஃபைட் ஹெல்த் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் ஸோ சர்டிஃபைட் ஹெல்த் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் ஹூ இஸ் அ சர்டிஃபைட் ஹெல்த் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் ஸோ இஸ் த டாக்டர் ஸோ இஸ் த கன்சர்ன் பர்சன் ஃபிசிஷியன் ஸோ அவர் சொல்ற மாதிரி தான் நம்ம அவருடைய ப்ரிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் மூலயமா தான் நம்ம ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் சாப்பிடணும் அப்படி சாப்பிட்டா தான் அது எஃபெக்டிவா இருக்கும் டு கண்ட்ரோல் த பாக்டீரியா த டிசீஸ் காஸ்ட் பை த பாக்டீரியா ஸோ வென் த பாக்டீரியா பிகம்ஸ் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் கெனாட் ஃபைட் அகெயின்ஸ்ட் தம் அண்ட் த பாக்டீரியா மல்டிப்ளை இன் சைட் அவர் பாடி ஸோ பாக்டீரியாவுக்கு வந்து அந்த ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் எகெயின்ஸ்டா ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் பவர் வந்துருச்சுன்னா ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ் ஆல எதிர்த்து போரிட முடியாது ஸோ அந்த பாக்டீரியா மல்டிப்ளை இன் சைட் அவர் பாடி ஸோ அது மல்டிப்ளை ஆனால் அந்த டிசீஸோட வீரியம் அதிகமாகுது நமக்கு டிசீஸ் சரியாகாது தென் சூப்பர் பத் ஸோ சூப்பர் பத் தி ஆர் நத்திங் பட் ஸ்ட்ரெயின்ஸ் ஆஃப் பாக்டீரியா தட் ஆர் ரெசிஸ்டன்ட் டு த மெஜாரிட்டி ஆஃப் ஆன்டிபயோட்டிக்ஸ்
which are available in the market. So it is the strains of bacteria that are resistant to the majority of antibiotics. In the market like that, antibiotics are resistant to resistance for the market. That is called superbug. Then we shall see about the fermented beverages. Number Barkailer, Parker, fermented beverages. Uh, maybe what fermented beverages, maybe alcoholic beverages also. With the microbes, especially yeast, is being used from the time immemorial for the production of beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy, and rum. So, microbes, especially yeast, that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. For the production of beverages like wine, the wine production, Christmas season, wine production and the hotel restaurants prepare for the TV, how they are preparing. So they are, uh, they are putting a lot of fruits mixed in the store, maybe after two months or three months, that is effectiveness. So, we store it. Powerful then, uh, so microbes, especially yeast, the Saccharomyces cerevisiae, that is being used for from time immemorial for the production of beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy, and all. So, zymology is an applied science which deals with the bio biochemical process of fermentation. And the, and the science fair the zymology. It's an applied science which deals with the biochemical process of fermentation. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, commonly called Brewer's yeast or Baker's yeast, that is used for fermenting malted cereals and fruit juices to produce various alcoholic beverages. So fruit juice, grape juice, wine in the presence of Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast. Wine and beer are produced without distillation, whereas whiskey, brandy, and rum are obtained by fermentation and distillation. So, wine and beer are produced without distillation. Distillation process is produced, but whereas for whiskey, brandy, and rum, the fermentation and distillation are under process, we get whiskey, brandy, and rum. Enology is the science and study of wine and wine making. So, enology it is the study of wine and wine making. Wine is made from the fermentation of grape juice. So, grape juice catalyst on the Saccharomyces cerevisiae. That is yeast and then the wine category. So, you see the equation given in the slide. MD, grape juice in the alcohol, maybe uh, specifically wine category in the presence of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, that is the catalyst yeast. Grape wine is of two types, namely red wine and white wine. So, red wine, white wine. For red wine, black grapes are used, including skins and sometimes the stems also are used. So, red wine, black grapes, karputracha. So they are used including skins as not Sometimes the stems also are used. So for preparing a red wine. White wine is produced only from the juice of either white or red grapes without their skin and stems. So white wine one the either white wine means either white grapes or red grapes. stems white wine prepared. Then B, it is produced from germinated barley malt grain by Saccharomyces carsbergensis. So, on the yeast pair one, the Saccharomyces carsbergensis or Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, B is produced from the useful and the yeast pair one, the Saccharomyces carsbergensis or Saccharomyces cerevisiae. The next rum is made from fermented sugar cane or molasses or directly from sugar cane juice 
by Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, that is yeast. Tha. So, rum is made from fermented sugar cane or molasses, the pocket. Whiskey is a type of distilled alcoholic beverage made from fermented grain marsh by Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, that is whiskey. It is made from, with the help of catalyst Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the yeast. So, this is a South Indian drink. So, Padanir is obtained from fermenting sap of palms and coconut trees. So, Padanir is obtained from fermenting sap of palm. By fermenting, nodital mulemaga, by fermenting sap of palms and coconut trees. Then the palin sodan, the palin, other than the panela kotuipa. The common source is tapping of unopened spatis of coconut. So, and the palila, the kotuikang, the pane, a common source is tapping of unopened spatis, other palin sodan, of coconut. It is a refreshing drink. Which and boiling produces jaggery or palm sugar. So it's a very good drink, health drink. The alarm is up now. Which and boiling, uh, boil panna the kapra, it produces jaggery, mello or palm sugar, panna mello. Then we will take the heat panna the kapra. When padanir is left undisturbed for a few hours, it gets fermented, no dital mole maga, to form toddy. So toddy na kal. So, Padanir Vandu, Kodinath, maybe four hours Vandu, other than the number undisturbed Panava, which is another Nodital Murimaga, we get toddy with the help of naturally occurring yeast to form a beverage that contains four percentage alcohol. So, in the Padanir means in the Kalila Vandu, four percentage alcohol. So, in the Padanir Vandu, number four hours undisturbed out of Nana, as the Nodital Murimaga, Kalla Marde, all percentage alcohol. After 24 hours, toddy becomes unpalatable and is, un and is used for the production of vinegar. So, 24 hours, one day, I say, then in the, in the color of the pudicum, it becomes unpalatable and is used for the production of vinegar. So, vinegar na cardi. Yeah, cardi produced for the is useful. Then we shall see about the ethanol production. The ethanol. So, how is uh, ethanol produced in the lab? So, Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the major producer of ethanol. So, Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast is the catalyst. catalyst. So, that is the major producer of ethanol. It is used for industrial, laboratory and fuel purpose. So, ethanol is referred to as industrial alcohol. So, it is the industrial, industrial purpose, ke, laboratory la prepare pantrang ethanol, la, fuel purpose, ko, the number, pine patranala, ethanol, avandhi, they are multipurpose use pantranala, it is referred to as industrial alcohol. Bacteria such as Zygomonas mobilis and Sarsina ventriculi, they are also involved in eth ethanol production. So, in the end bacteria, namely Zymomonas mobilis and Sarsina ventriculi. So, they are all involved in ethanol production. The principal substrates for the commercial production of industrial alcohol include molasses, the pag, vella pag, or corn, soil, potatoes, and wood waste. So, these are the principal substrate for the commercial production of industrial alcohol. So, molasses is Corn, potatoes, or wood waste. The process of ethanol production starts by milling a feedstock followed by the addition of dilute or fungal amylase enzyme from aspergillus to break down the starch into fermentable sugars. So, in the, pro in the ethanol production, Eprina, first it starts by milling the feedstock. So, feedstock, na, the molasses, corn, uh, potatoes, the wood waste, other on the we should milling, mill pani, milling the feedstock followed by the addition of dilute or fungal amylase enzyme add pan, or from aspergillus 
to break down the starch into fermentable sugars. Nodithal mulai maga. Yeast is then added to convert the sugars to ethanol. So, that is the catalyst target. Which is then distilled off to obtain ethanol which is up to 96% in concentration. So, on the equation paranga, on the equation na ni gaya dhaale, ongol ke random mark kudu paang exam la. So, that is glucose, C6H12O6. So, in the presence of catalyst on the yeast, adu vandhu ferment avad, nodithal mule maga, ethanol, ethyl alcohol produce avad, two equivalents of ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide is escaping. So, yeast is then added. So, as a catalyst I use for Ranga to convert the sugars to ethanol, which is then distilled off to obtain ethanol on the 96 percentage fuel. 96 percentage. The two most common types of biofuels in use today are ethanol and biodiesel. So, fuel purpose is ethanol use. And uh, uh, most common biofuels are used for the use of ethanol and biodiesel. Both of them represent the first generation of biofuel technology. Ethanol is often used as a fuel, mainly as a biofuel additive for gasoline. So, if you the ethanol production process, you can the picture of the ethanol producer. So, the call kernels and the soil. Pala on the uh, milling process when the corn kernels are ground into milling pula crank, the corn kernels so long, the molasses, elami, the potatoes elami. Then enzymes Mukema on the, the, the mashing in the process on the heat and enzymes convert starch in the corn, in the corn like the corn kernels like red, and the starch on the heat panadika pro and the enzymes on the the starch in the corn, every market is fermentable sugar. So, so temperature is about 80 degrees. pH is lower you know, for periods of up to several hours in the process. So, after we do the fermenting process, we do the yeast and the catalyst. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, mass is cooled and mixed with the yeast. So, the mass is the Mash on this cool panite in the yeast could have mixed panel. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Then distilling and dehydrating. So ethanol is purified from the fermented mash. And then the purified panel. That is the 96 percentage purity. So and the ethanol is the number fuel glam use panel. Okay. Then the chemicals, enzymes and other bioactive molecules present in this uh, means, enzyme, means in this antibiotics. First chemicals, chemicals. Microbes are not only used for commercial and industrial production of alcohol, but also used for production of organic acid. So microbes on the industrial commercial production alcohol produce under the day. Ethanol produced for the matter number of the microbes are the use fund but also used for production of organic acids. And an acid curriculum with the citric acid, lemon, orange, and the citric acid. It is got from the bacterium aspergillus niger. So, bacterium aspergillus niger lend the number citric acid curriculum. Then, acetic acid one day we get from the bacterium. Acetobacter aciti. Then fumaric acid we get from rhizopus rhizae. Then butyric acid we get from Clostridium butyricum. Then lactic acid we get from Lactobacillus, uh, lactobacillus or uh, Streptococcus. So either on the chemicals from this bacteria we get. Citric acid, acetic acid, fumaric acid, butyric acid, and lactic acid we get from bacteria. Then the enzymes, yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and bacteria they are used for commercial production of enzymes. So, enzymes are produced under the go in the yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, bacteria, useful. Lipases are used in detergent formulations and are used for removing oily stains in our clothes. 
துணியில வந்து அழுக்கெல்லாம் இருக்கும் ஆயில் ஸ்டெயின்ஸ் எல்லாம் பட்டிருக்கும் அதை வந்து இந்த ரிமூவ் பண்றது தான் இந்த என்சை லைக் பீஸ் சோ இந்த டிடர்ஜென்ட் ஃபார்முலேஷன்ஸ்ல இருக்குது இந்த சோப்பு கட்டில எல்லாம் இருக்குது சோப்பு நுரையில எல்லாம் இந்த லைக் பீஸ் இருக்கு அதுதான் வந்து இந்த ஆயில் ஸ்டெயின்ஸ் நம்ம துணியில இருக்கிற அழுக்கெல்லாம் அதை ரிமூவ் பண்ணுது லைக் பீஸ் பாட்டில் ஜூஸ் ஆர் கிளாரிஃபைட் பை த யூஸ் ஆஃப் பெக்டினீஸ் ப்ரோடியேஸ் அண்ட் சொலிலேஸ் பாட்டில் ஜூஸ் வந்து கிளாரிஃபை பண்றது பெக்டினீஸ் ப்ரோடியேஸ் அண்ட் சொலிலேஸ் ரெனட் கேன் ஆல்சோ பி யூஸ்ட் டு செப்பரேட் மில்க் இன் டு சாலிட் கர்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் சீஸ் மேக்கிங் யாருக்கு நம்ம சீஸ் மேக்கிங்ல பார்த்திருக்கோம் சார் ரெனட் மூலியமாக தான் மில்க் வந்து சாலிட் கர்ட்ஸ் ஆ மாறி ரெனட் வந்து கேட்டலிஸ்ட் ஆக்ட் ஆகுது சாலிட் கர்ட்ஸ் ஆ மாறி அதுல இருந்து சீஸ் வந்து நம்ம ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்றாங்க then streptococcus and genetically engineered streptococci gem nu solvanga genetically engineered bacteria gem streptococci they are used as clot clot buster for removing clots from the blood vessels of patients who have undergone myocardial infarction so myocardial infarction and other nothing but heart attack so heart attack eppadi varudhu unakku vandu the blood vessels and the கொரோனாரி ஆர்டரியில ஏதாவது பிளாக்கேஜ் இருந்துச்சுன்னாதான் உனக்கு இந்த ஸ்டெப்டோகாக்கஸ் ஜெம் பாக்டீரியா ஜெனட்டிக்கலி இன்ஜினியர் பாக்டீரியா ஸ்டெப்டோகாக்கு எல்லாம் வந்து அந்த கிளாட் பஸ்டர் எல்லாம் ரிமூவ் பண்ணுது சோ தட் அவர் கொரோனா மீன்ஸ் சாரி கொரோனாரி ஆர்டரி இஸ் கிளியர் ஆஃப் எனி பிளாக்கேஜ் சோ அதனால நமக்கு இந்த மயோகார்டியல் இன்ஃபார்ஷன் எல்லாம் வரத்துக்கு அதிக வாய்ப்பு கிடையாது then finally we shall see about the bioactive bioactive molecules cyclosporin a an immunosuppressant used in organ transplantation is produced from the fungus trichoderma polyspore it is also used for its anti inflammatory anti fungal and anti parasitic properties so cyclosporin a so that is an immunosuppressant so immunosuppressant used in organ transplantation pa urupu matru arvi sikichi la pandranga le pa kidney transplantation alle adukala vande in the cyclosporin a in the immunosuppressant use pannada namm organa vande pa namukku veli rendu kadaikira organs transplantation mooliyama namm kadaikira organs la vande namm odam vande accept pattadhukku in the cyclosporin a vande romba useful a irukku it is an immunosuppressant so it is produced from the fungus trichoderma பெரும்பாலும் சாப்பிடுறதெல்லாம் குறைச்சிக்கணும் அதனால கொலஸ்ட்ரால் அளவு அதிகமா போயிடும் ஸோ அப்படி போயிடுச்சுன்னா இந்த ஸ்டாட்டின்ஸ் இதுதான் வந்து இட் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் பை த மொனாஸ்கஸ் த ஈஸ்ட் பேர் வந்து மொனாஸ்கஸ் பர்பியூரியஸ் ஸோ பிளட் கொலஸ்ட்ரால் லெவல அதை ரெடியூஸ் பண்ணது தென் ரீகாமினன்ட் ஹியூமன் இன்சுலின் ஹாஸ் பீன் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் ப்ரீடாமினன்ட்லி யூசிங் ஈ கோலி அண்ட் சாக்ரோமைசிஸ் சர்வேசியை ஃபார் தெரப்பட்டிக் யூஸ் ஸோ நம்மளுடைய ஹியூரிங் உடம்புக்கு